AITA for locking my wife out of the house? Our house has an attached garage and a door between the garage and the house. I have a habit of locking the house doors this door. Even if the garage door is closed. Front door. Back door. My wife regularly comes home late. Like after 8 p.m. late. She drives into the garage and comes through that door. Here's the weird part. She refuses to carry a house key with her. I mean, any house key. Not the garage door. Not the front door. Not the back door. She also won't put one in her car. Her reason is that she doesn't use the front door so she doesn't need a house key. I often take the kids out for a walk, scooter ride, bike ride through the garage after dinner. Or take the trash out. And since I'm not thinking, I lock the door behind us when I come back in. So when she parks in the garage, she ends up locked out of the house. Then she comes home and has to text me to unlock the door and is mad at me. AITA? NTA. She refuses to carry a house key with her. I mean, any house key. Not the garage door. Not the front door. Not the back door. How preposterously stubborn. Your wife has keys to her car. Right? A house key can be attached to that keyring. What's her problem? NTA. NTA. Safety for the kids is more important than her not wanting to carry a key. Entire locking the door to keep thieves out. She is the ass for not carrying a key. Who does that? NTA I think a lot of people are in the habit of locking the doors behind them. Might I suggest getting a keypad lock for in your garage? That way you can lock the deadbolt behind you. But she can get in without a key. Everyone wins. NTA. She needs to carry a key like an adult. NTA. Your wife needs to have a key on them like every other normal functioning human being. Totally unreasonable to expect a door to be unlocked when coming home late at night. With her kids in the house no less. This is the most moronic thing I have read on here today and that's really saying something. I don't know where you live but I would never keep any door that accesses my home unlocked. Particularly not with kids in the house. NTA. NTA. If she doesn't like being licked out she can carry a key. Edit. Locked out. How she feels about licking not relevant to this particular issue. I live in a very safe place. I lock my doors similarly. I will say the house garage connection point gets locked only at night. Ultimately though if she is mad for having to text, then she can solve this problem by carrying a key. I wish I could explain to your wife exactly how easy it is to replicate a signal for a garage opener. It's so easy, in fact, that your garage should not be considered a safety barrier at all. She should be locking the door that connects the garage to the house. Of course if bad people want in, they'll get in. But generally speaking people are going to pick the easiest target. She needs to stop making your home an easy target. I cannot for the life of me figure out what explanation or defense she could possibly have for this. The mental gymnastics to make that make sense must be astounding. NTA but I would push this issue. It's a safety risk for everyone. NTA that's absurd she won't carry a key because she doesn't need to go through locked doors. Except then she does. I make sure all my doors are locked every night. I don't see why a woman with a house and family can't understand why you would lock a door. NTA is your wife a petulant child? Why in the world would she refuse to carry a key then get butt hurt for being locked out? Doors need to be locked for the family's safety and unless she wants to be locked out. She should carry a key. NTA. And honestly. This is a good thing that happened. If you'd locked her out on purpose to teach her a lesson that wouldn't be good of you. But since it happened by accident. 
NTA at all. And an important lesson was taught. No adult should be leaving their house without a key. Unless there's special circumstances. And I don't know. Are garages secure? Is it okay to just not lock the door in between? NTA. You should lock all the doors. Not in a vengeful way. But because what idiot doesn't lock their doors while sleeping and when they leave the house? I know a lot of Amersians do. And I find that so stupid. If someone wants to break in. Whether to rob or kill you. You're basically just letting them in. I think you should tell her she needs to understand the safety of locking the door and that she. Uses car keys. It takes no effort to attach the house key on it. If not, she will have to deal with the locked door because it's common sense to lock it when you leave. NTA. What happens if you're not home or you get into an accident while out? What happens if someone breaks into the garage or someone forgets to close the garage? What a silly thing for an adult to refuse. NTA her choice to not carry a key means it's her choice to risk getting locked out. NTA. That reasoning is not logical. Don't use the front door so I don't need a key. There's more than one door into the the house. Since I'm not thinking, I lock the door behind us when I come back in. Since you're not thinking, you are thinking. You are thinking about the dangers that come with not locking up your house when you have small kids. NTA. Your wife needs a reality check and a key. NTA here but your wife is a DA. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.